What is going on everybody? What is going on the Catch fam? It is Lord Big Ed here with the Catch and in today's video we are going to be breaking down the must start defenses for your fantasy football teams. Going into week four we've had a first great three weeks of the season and we are now getting into finishing off the first quarter of the year. Uh, guys if you are not already a part of the Catch fam super encourage you to hit that subscribe button join the best community in all the fantasy football. Also really encourage you to get into those comments and let me know what questions you have, or if you need any advice at the quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, kicker, or defense position, so we can help you set up your teams ahead of the weekends, guys. So with all that said, let's get into it. Let's get into the must starts. Up at number one, we're talking about probably my uh, ward for most improved defense. We're talking about the Kansas City Chiefs defense, guys. Over the past few years, we've always noticed that the Chiefs defense have been the real uh, struggling part about the entire team. It's always been Mahomes carrying the unit. Uh, and then in the playoffs, they'll step up, right? But honestly, it's been a little bit of the reverse. I mean, we've seen the Chiefs defense really carry its own. We've seen them make huge plays. We've seen them consistently shut down the run and get after the quarterback to create pass rush, which has allowed Patrick Mahomes to really kind of, I don't know, maybe just account for the fact that Kelsey was out the week one and the offense is still kind of trying to find its own. I mean, they definitely looked great against the Chicago Bears, but everybody does, right? But the Kansas City Chiefs are now going up against the New York Jets. Another delicious matchup. This was part of the reason why I wanted to pick them up last week because I knew they'd get the Bears and then the Jets, meaning you get Fields and then you get Zach Wilson, two awful quarterbacks. Uh, I, I told you guys to stream the Patriots against the Jets last week. That turned out to be a good move. I think we can go again and go against uh, Mr. Zach Wilson. Uh, if you watch that game, there was a lot of frustration on the sidelines. Garrett Wilson's really mad at Zach Wilson right now. Michael Carter was freaking out in the coaching staff. I think the whole Jets team is really starting to realize that their season that they all thought was going to end in the Super Bowl is really going to end in complete devastation like the Jets have recently, which is really sad. I wish Aaron Rodgers was there for you Jets fans so that they could have won some more ball games. But in reality, this Chiefs defense, this Chiefs team, they are going to destroy this Jets team, in my opinion. Right now, it's like a 10-point spread. Over-under is pretty low, too. I don't really expect that the Jets are going to score too many points, but I do expect that there's going to be a lot of turnover opportunity, and I think Zach Wilson's going to be in for a headache. So if you can get the Chiefs defense, go ahead and grab them for sure, because this is going to be one that you want to have a defense against Zach Wilson. Up next, we're talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers led by TJ Watt, number 90, but number one in my heart. I think he's the best defensive player in all of football. You guys might think Michael Parsons or somebody else is, so let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong on that, but I think TJ Watt is an absolute wrecking force, an absolute game changer, and they're getting to go against Houston here. They're going to be in Houston, but listen, CJ Stroud, the Houston Texans, they've been surprising. They've been scrappy. Uh, you know, obviously just pulled off the big upset against Jacksonville. That was definitely a shocker to me. And I think uh, along with everybody else betting on the Vegas sports books. But I, I think the Pittsburgh Steelers here, you know, they get the win against the Raiders. This defense is really what has been winning these ball games for them. You look at their stats last week against the Raiders, right? Four sacks, three interceptions. And then the week before that, they had th six sacks, three, four, three fumble recoveries and a pick against the Cleveland Browns. Ever since week one, they've been on an upward trajectory. Uh, th this defense is really starting to come into its own. They've got great playmakers all over the place. I mean, they've got the veteran Patrick Peterson who's past his prime, but he's still one of the best ball make ball playmakers in the, in the secondary. And you've got Mika Fitzpatrick who just always finds ways to turn over the football. I love this defense. I love what they're doing right now, and I love the matchup against the Houston Texans. I think this is actually going to be a pretty tight game because the Houston Texans defense is also pretty good. So I think it's going to be a low-scoring game, which gives you that good floor. But one thing about this Texans team is that their offensive line has given up a ton of pass rush, has given up a lot of sacks. Mr. C.J. Sprout has been hit quite a bit of times. He always He already has been banged up this season. And I think that is only going to get worse against a guy like TJ Watt and against that fearsome Pittsburgh Steelers pass rush and those opportunistic corners in Pittsburgh. I think this could be a bad game for CJ Stroud. And, and, and even in the worst case scenario, if the Texans pull off another Houdini and win it, I do think the Steelers defense is going to have a good game because I think they're going to get the quarterback hits. I think they're going to get after the quarterback, and I think they're going to at least have double-digit points this one. I, I stashed the Steelers in a personal league a week ago 
just because I knew this matchup was coming, guys. So I think you should absolutely go after them on the waivers. Next, we're talking about a rivalry game here, a low over-under game. We're talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. Right now, I'm seeing on the sports books under 41 points. That makes a lot of sense to me because you got the Derek Carr injury, which is a another big reason why I'm recommending the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense here. Um, but I, I think Jameis Winston, you know, we know Jameis, right? He, he, he likes to push the pace. He likes to throw up some, some Hail Mary balls. Uh, and, and ultimately that leads to a ton of turnovers. Uh, Jameis has always been known for turnovers. You know, he had that 30 for 30 season. Um, the dude gets sacked a lot. The dude fumbles a lot. The dude throws a lot of picks. He is a ton of fun. I think Jameis Winston is hilarious. I, I can't wait to see him on the football field again. Um, but this is also a uh, revenge game for Jameis Winston. I mean, he's had this matchup before. It didn't work out for him. But, you know, he used to play for Tampa Bay, obviously. And I think this Tampa Bay defense really does know him. They, they've succeeded against him uh, over in years past um, when he's quarterback the Saints. And I, I think this Bucks defense, when you look at what they've been doing recently, they're just absolutely dominant. They've been killing it. Um, and, you know, this is, this is recorded before the Eagles game. Um, I do actually expect the Eagles to kind of to kind of be tight, but I expect the Eagles to win that one. I don't really think that the Bucks defense is going to look outstanding. So I'm, I'm asking that you you look past the Monday night performance and you just know that this is going to be a better matchup against the Jameis Winston-led Saints here. Uh, but guys, they've been fa fantastic. I mean, week two, they had six sacks. Uh, that, that interior um, that interior defensive line led by Vita Vea is absolutely amazing. Um, they can really shut down all running avenues, and the Saints' running game is already pretty horrendous. And then in terms of the receivers, they have great corners uh, in Tampa Bay, and they're getting healthier. Um, I think they're going to do pretty well. And ultimately, I just think we are really just making a big bet against Jameis Winston, guys. So go ahead and put Tampa Bay in your lineups. And just a small anecdote note as well, I think the Saints defense is also a really good uh, streaming option here. Uh, they don't make the top five, um, but they are a definite good option here against uh, Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think we're going to probably see somewhere around 7 to 10 fantasy points on the week this week. Up next, we're talking about the Baltimore Ravens, who really, uh, you know, the Colts, my Colts just beat them, but uh, that game was obviously kind of given to them by the refs. Um, but the Baltimore Ravens defense has kind of impressed me all year long, especially with what they're doing at getting after the quarterback. Uh, four sacks against the Indianapolis Colts, but just constant pressure on Gardner Minshew. Uh, Minshew honestly hung in there, but man, I, I, I could feel for him all day long because that pass rush was hungry. And I think going up against the Cleveland Browns here, I think the Baltimore Ravens defense is going to really step up in these division rivalry matchup games. It is just harder hitting. It is just lower scoring. It is just more fearsome competition. And I think this Baltimore Ravens defense is going to just emulate the anger of that bad call at the end of the Colts game. I think that they are going to feel a certain way about it. I think that they know that this is a huge game because the Browns right now uh, have also been winning a lot of ball games. They just won the Tennessee game. This is a, a kind of a high stakes for the division type of lead here. Lamar Jackson knows that this is a big one. He just had 100 yards on the ground against the Indianapolis Colts, but he needs to come in here and he needs to win a big division matchup. And I think that's exactly what the Ravens are going to do here. I think they're going to be hungry. And if you look on the other side of the ball, um, obviously you guys know I've been streaming against Deshaun Watson a lot this year, um, but even Tennessee Titans defense, which has actually been pretty horrible all year long, had seven fantasy points because uh, they had multiple sacks, multiple fumbles uh, against Deshaun Watson because that's just what he does. He turns the ball over. He gets sacked. He tries to make too many plays happen. Uh, and so if you translate that type of performance that he had against Tennessee over to this Baltimore game with a much better uh, Baltimore defense, I, I think you're going to see an even worse performance from Deshaun Watson, which means I think that the Ravens are an absolute top five must start defense for waivers, uh, especially in a week like this week where there is just so few options at the must streaming at the defensive streaming position. So guys, go ahead and grab the Ravens, put them in your lineup, stream against Deshaun Watson. When in doubt, that is definitely the move because this guy likes to make a lot of plays happen, even though when it's not necessarily there, and that leads to turnovers. On the other side of the ball, you know, we, we've got the Cleveland Browns defense, guys. And, uh, you know, like I said, this is a week with a little bit less options on 
the waivers for for streaming defenses and I, and I think that this game is a game where you kind of want both sides of the action. The Ravens defense I think is slightly better because I think you're going against Deshaun Watson, but the Browns defense guys, this defense is seriously legit. I think they are um honestly probably like a top 2, top 3 defense on the season. Um if they had a better offense, I think that they'd be even better. Um but this defense has been shutting down every single running back. Guys, they made Derrick Henry look horrendous and the Baltimore Ravens um who knows if Gus Edwards back but they're gonna be putting out Melvin Gordon and maybe Justice Hill at the running back position I don't think either of those guys is gonna be able to do much better than Derrick Henry and then at the receiver position obviously you got Zay Flowers Odell Beckham banged up um you, you've got some kind of average receiving core against an absolute lockdown secondary um it's really gonna be I think on Lamar Jackson to get the job done um, so I think this Browns defense is going to be a tremendous play, honestly. I think there there really is a ceiling for over uh, double digits, 12-plus um, fantasy points. Um, but I think they have such a safe floor. As we've kind of seen all season long, they've been hovering around 10 points every single week because of what Miles Garrett and that defensive line can do at getting after the quarterback. They just are hungry for the quarterback hits um, and they just do not let up big plays. The secondary led by Denzel Ward is absolutely shut down, as I said earlier. So I think the Browns are an absolute play here too. And if you had to ask me between the two, I, I would go Ravens just ever so slightly because of the Deshaun Watson um, uh, getting to go up against the John Watson. But man, I, I think both these defenses are in for a big day. And I think it's going to be a defensive uh, juggernaut type of battle here. And it's going to be a fun AFC North matchup. With all that said, this has been the must-start defenses for your fantasy football teams going into week four. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not already a part of the Catch Fam. Join the best community in all of fantasy football. And also get in those comments. Let me know. Let me know who you think the best defensive player in football is. Let me know who you think the best defense is. And uh, let me know what questions you have at the quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end kicker or defense position so we can help you set up your teams ahead of the weekend, guys. Just want to chat with you throughout the throughout the season so we can get to little, get to know a little bit more about your fantasy teams and what your thought pieces are on the season so far because it's already been a pretty wild season. It's only going to get more wild with all these injuries that are happening, guys. But with all that said, this has been the must-start defenses, and you saw it here first at the catch.